Hello and welcome back to the channel, Ed Padgett here. And today I'm going to show you a gentle way to increase the mobility in your spine using a nice little trick that involves your nervous system. Now, this can help you increase rotation and exercise your eyes at the same time. This will help you avoid those little niggles that many people get when they twist their spine. Before I get into the video, I want to tell you about my online course for scoliosis. It's the most comprehensive course out there and takes you through everything you need to know about increasing mobility to your spine, stability to your spine, and increasing endurance to your spine. This is everything you need to know to manage a scoliosis. Now I run the course once or twice a year, and if you'd like to know when the next one is, just click the link in the description below or in that first pinned comment and put your name in the checkbox, put your email there as well, and you'll get on the notification list. And when you do this, I'll make sure you get my free six-part series on scoliosis. Now, on with the training. This exercise has a name. It's called the somatic lighthouse. Essentially, it's a way to add rotation to the spine, but very gently. And then we're going to use certain eye movements and certain head movements to make a change in our nervous system. All right, the setup is pretty simple. You're going to position your legs in what we call a 90-90. So one leg is out in front with the shin uh, at 90 degrees to the, to, the, to the leg here, and the other one is at 90 degrees to this leg, so 90-90. Now I'm going to take my hand here, in this case is my left side, and I'm going to put that out to the side as a kind of support. Now from here I can actually take this hand at shoulder height and twist round, see how far I can go. Now it's important to do this without any pain. Okay, so if, if you find a pinch in your lower back, maybe put a pillow under your right hip, straighten yourself up, lift your chest up, make sure you're not too flexed as you do this because flexion and rotation can cause pain. Make sure your spine is nice and straight. If this hip uh, angle is too difficult, you can actually just put one hip to the side here like this as well. Okay, I'm going to alter my position here so you can see what I'm doing with my head. In this position, there's going to be a place where we can go as far as we can. Now we're going to do three different movements with the spine, okay? First off, we're going to increase the rotation by a little bit by looking and turning our heads as far as we can to the left, then coming back to the middle. Coming back to the left, coming back to the middle, or the beginning of the movement. Coming to the left. Good. So that's increasing rotation in the transverse plane. Now we're going to think about increasing flexion extension, okay? So we're going to take our hand here, we're going to pull it down on our chest, increase flexion, and then we're going to lift the elbow up and look with our eyes upwards as well. Now, why are we looking with our eyes here? Well, it turns out the covering of the eye, the white stuff, is continuous with the covering of the brain. The more you move your eyes, the more you stretch, one, the muscles, but you also stretch that fascia and they call them meninges that go around to the brain and down to the spine. So we want to keep the eyes mobile so that they don't affect our ability to move our spines. Okay, so we've added transverse plane, we've added flexion extension in the, in the sagittal plane. Next, we have to think about uh, side to side movement in the frontal plane. So here I'm gonna take my right ear to my right shoulder and then my right ear to my left shoulder and I'm gonna let that movement wave down my spine. So we're getting a nice, little waving movement down the spine, just three to five of these. And we can link this that with breath as well. So if you were to do it slow with breathing, you could breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in, breathe out. All right, so now we've done three basic movements to the back. Now we're gonna get the eyes more involved. So what I want you to do here is to turn your head as far as you can and then turn your eyes to look back to the right. So you're turning your head to the left, eyes to the right. And now we're going to go up and down with the eyes. Up and down with the eyes. But now we're going to try something a little bit harder than that. I want you to turn your head to the left whilst you look to the right. So you turn your head to the left, look to the right. Now turn your head to the, come into the, the far rotation position, turn your, head to the turn your eyes to the left whilst turning your head to the right. Eyes to the left, turning your head to the right. Next movement, we're going to take our head down, but whilst looking up. So look up, head down. Look up, head down. Look up, 
head down. Now look down, take the head up, down, take the head up, down, take the head up, and then come back to your starting position. So what that does is it allows the body to move in a way that it's not used to. So usually when we hear a noise, we look left and our head goes left. But when we look left and take our head right, it actually stretches some of the, the uh, fascia, like I mentioned, in the base of the brain and around the actual eyes in a way it's not used to being stretched. And that can actually make us more mobile. So one way to check our increased mobility is to um, take a little measurement when we start. So if we go to here and I turn my head and I see how far I can look and I take a, a measurement from, um, from the peripheral vision of my eye. So for me, it's, it's in this wall back here. And we go through those movements. I'll do them on this side as well. So we're going to turn. And first thing, we're going to increase the rotation and come back. And do this with breathing. So I'll breathe in and out. In and out. In and out. And it's important not to push these movements. I'm not pushing hard. Now we're going to go up and down. We're going to down. I'm going to breathe out and up. Down and up, down, and up. And then we're gonna go left and right. I'm gonna breathe out as I go to this position and breathe in here. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in. Excellent, now we're gonna work with the eyes a little bit more. So first movement, we're going to go all the way around to the right and then come back all the way around to the right and then come back. I'm already seeing further. Go to the right and then come back. Next one, we're going to go to the um, to up and down, up and down. Last one, up and down. Now we're going to confuse the nervous system slightly. And I'm going to turn my head to the right, but I'm going to look left. So I'm looking at you to the left, but turning my head to the right. It's one, two. This feels a bit weird. Three. Now I'm going to go the other way, look to the right, turn my head left, one, two, three. Now I'm going to go up and down, so I'm looking up, going down, one, two, three. Now I'm looking down, going up, one, two, I can move my back here as well, three, good. Now I'm going to retest, how much further can I go? So now I can actually see the corner of the house, whereas before I was somewhere in the middle there. So give this one a go. Test yourself at the beginning, test yourself afterwards, and see how much more range of motion you have in that rotation or transverse plane, and how that's going to translate into more mobility and freedom in your everyday life. I'm going to wrap this video up now. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, but also click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend who you think will enjoy this content as well. Thank you so much for doing those things. Your support makes a huge difference. Also, if you have scoliosis, I want to tell you about the amazing community we're building over on Facebook. I'd like you to join this group, which is where a lot of the action and interaction with my community happens. Just follow the link in the description below or in that first pinned comment. And once you're in there, you can actually message me directly and we will start talking. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be up soon. Till then. Stay loose.